Hi everyone, Simon here, welcome to the channel and welcome to any new subscribers. Love story time, love me long time number eight. This love story seems to be going on a long time but it's quite a lot going on in it so and I'm enjoying doing it. So it's dangerous, could end up being lots of episodes. But hey ho. Last time we left it, Gary and B were in his old condo. He'd offered B uh, an arrangement for a salary and everything else and B had thought about it for 24 hours. Very wise girl. She said she wanted to keep her shop, get some staff in there, also work for Gary. And there was a talk about the cars. And at this point, let's catch up. Gary was very impressed with B's thoughts, her uh, business attributes, the way she was thinking and he said yep yeah, that makes sense to get a limousine, nice car, not use many miles on it and get P or A driver part time or whichever or you could drive the limo if needed um, but to get you a little car which is fine is just giving you a bit more of a, a bonus. He said what I will do and if this is the package you're going to accept I'll buy you your little car and we'll get the limo after a couple of months because of moving money over here I've got to sort all that out he said so we'll get you a little car first and then we'll sort the limo out afterwards and I don't mind you running the shop but if we start getting busy then you've got to seriously think about shutting that shop and concentrating just on our ventures he said originally I wanted to come here meet a wife get married take her back to Texas have kids live happily ever after but after our chats and you even mentioning getting a surrogate mum to have children for me and then me take them back he says it's going to become apparent it has become apparent that I like Thailand I like Phuket and it makes sense for me to travel over here and have maybe a few months here, a few months back there and come back with some forwards. It will make it easier to find the right person to have my children. And B's, yep, yeah, this is this is true. And B's still in the back of my mind thinking about this. He's such a lovely guy. She could have some more kids. She could maybe catch him. She could be a surrogate mum, she's thinking of the money. But Angela's in the sidelines. And he says to B, Angela, you know, B was there, Angela made a proposition she wanted to meet up and get to know me and have a chat about the condo. Have you said anything to her? And B's, no, I've not said anything to her about us working together and buying condos, etc. But I have said that you liked her but we're worried about her boyfriend. And Angela really works a lot. She doesn't have time for boyfriend. However, she has spotted that you are wealthy and that you're doing something for me. She hasn't worked out what yet. Um, and like any girl, possibly that's in a job that hasn't got a husband or kids along comes a rich farang maybe there is an attraction is it financially physically don't think physically but financially maybe she's a businesswoman Angela as well and B says take her on a date um, and see what happens talk to her but don't give her a job <laughs> she says if you're going to employ any more people as your PA and as your manager here in Thailand I want to be able to the one that gives any jobs out and he laughs and uh, says okay understood <laughs> he says good girl he says well this condo then is yours now he said uh, you can move into it what you know we need to get you a car but you go and sort that out he said I need to open a business account here 
for a bank account. I need to get my lawyers on it, my PA. Get a business account, get you put on the account, get some money put in there. Um, get this car bought. And he says, I'll get you to speak to my PA today. I'll give all the authorization. And let's talk about condos. While they're there, they're for sale. I need to figure out how many to buy. I'll have a, I'll get hold of Angela and arrange a dinner date for tonight. And I'll tell her at the dinner date that we're gonna buy condos. So you and me need to fight, figure out what we're gonna do. He said, I don't care about the, the profit from the condos as in the monthly rents. So we'll leave that money in the bank account here in Thailand. And maybe we'll make some other business investments. He said, but with buying them, they're gonna go up in price, so that's the investment. He said, so we don't need to send money backwards and forwards to America. He said, we'll just build up a pot here, and work with that. So if you have any other business ideas, let me know. Ah she says, great, okay, condos. And there's about 50. Potentially, there's gonna be another couple of blocks built behind. Foreigners can only buy 49% of condo units. You don't own the land, you're just buying the condo, paying a monthly maintenance fee, ground rent for your condo. So the most he could buy would be 23, 24. If they build a couple of more blocks, then maybe there's another so many. But those condos are all sort of 8 million, 10 million condos. These are all expensive condos. He needs to work out what the rents are going to be, what they're going to bring in, and says to be, what do we, what are we going to get? Is there enough customers to take these condos on, on a rental? We need to do some research. You need to find out where our market is, how we're going to advertise, and do you think you can handle all this, or we're going to need help? She says, no, I think I can handle this. I've got friends. I've got Angela in the business. She could sell as in rent them out for us and I'll give her a commission. And he's like, great, I love the way you're thinking. He said, well, for now then, let's just buy five condos. Let's buy five of the standard ones. Um, and they're about eight million by each. He said, so I'll arrange clearance, get the lawyers to buy them through you and Angela, you get it all done. And then we'll have to furnish them and kit them all out. Can you handle all that as well? And this is like bees. She was a shop owner, a shopkeeper. With the help of Angela, she can do all of this. She can handle all this. This is a Thai woman. Go and furnish a condo. How hard can it be? You're going to have a car. You can pay for everything. And you're on a salary. What a wonderful job. And B says, well, this is asking a lot of Angela to help me with these bits and pieces. Maybe she is going to earn a commission on every condo. Uh, maybe we should reward her in some other way. Extra. And Gary's like, well, she's going to be earning good commission off those condos. And B's like, yeah, but if she wants, we want her to do extra stuff for us and commissions and things. Maybe we should give her some incentive. And he said, well, you figure something out, have a think about it and let me know. She's like, okay. He says, right, that's it then. You're working for me. Let's get on the phone, let's get on the laptop. And he jumps on and, won't bore you with details. He figured it all from America to her bank accounts, PA, authorization, certain amount of money she can spend. The lawyers will take care of the purchases. It'll all be set for the next couple of days and in the meantime he's gonna try and get a date with Angela and let her know and he says to be I'll tell her about buying the condos and I'll give her a bit of a perk at the end of the night and she's like yeah good idea and be still thinking hmm, do I let him get too close to Angela is this my opportunity going out the window she started to think that 
and she's sort of saying to him, be careful, Angela, she's got a boyfriend. And he's like, okay, okay. Ha! <laughs> Wave a carrot in front of a woman from a billionaire. Mm. I don't know, what's gonna happen? They do everything, they sort all the finances, they spend her afternoon, he says to be, ring Angela, get me a date with her tonight. Okay. So she rings Angela and says, Angela, do you want to go on a date with Gary tonight? Angela's yes. And B says, I'll send the taxi, limo, pick you up, seven o'clock. Don't know where you're going and what you're doing. Angela's fine, that's great. Now, as far as I know, Angela didn't live with her Thai boyfriend. She had her own place, Thai boyfriend, which is part-time. So she wasn't answerable to this Thai boyfriend. And it was only sort of a casual relationship, I think. The afternoon went on. They'd sorted loads out. Next day, Gary says to B, you go and sort the banks out. You've got all the lawyers, PAs behind you now. Go and fix all that tomorrow come back to me tomorrow afternoon with what's happening also move into your condo get everything sorted he said so just catch up with me tomorrow afternoon for an hour but you can move in here and get everything sorted and then get that car sorted oh tons but anyway he said right get P back to my condo rings P turns up takes him back to the condo he says to B, how do we figure out P's money? I'm just gonna give him, when he's around and working for us, he said, well, I'll just pay him. Can he work for his full-time ship? Well, he has lots of obligations. He said, well, we need to get a driver. When I'm here, I need a driver full-time, just to be sat around all the time, so I can just click my fingers. He said, I've got to get this car, limo. He said, well, for the rest of my holiday, can we find a car and a driver? that'll just sit outside 24 7 or 12 you know daytime or evening whatever we need him that we just pay him 3,000 baht a day and B said I'll work on that I'll come back to you another job okay anyway gets P back to his condo showers change and B was gonna send P to get Angela then come and collect Gary and that's what happens about 20 past 7 P's ringing the bell. Gary comes down and Angela again in black again. Another very sexy outfit. He's like, and she jumps to the car, comes across, shakes his hand and he leans forward and just as if to give her a peck on the cheek, but not. They jump in the car and he says to Angela, we need a nice restaurant. And Angela says, there's a five-star hotel in Phuket, which has got a restaurant upstairs. It's beautiful. Oh, very romantic. Okay, got foreign food as well as Thai, yeah. Okay, she instructs P, go to this hotel. And uh, off they go. Come to this hotel, nice hotel. Go upstairs, restaurant, it is romantic. Bit of music going on, great food, mixture of food. And they sit and have a lovely evening. Angela has a few drinks, he has a few drinks. And general chit chat. And of course it comes up. He starts asking Angela about her life, about where she's come from, what she's done, the boyfriend. And she says that years and years ago before she actually worked in the entertainment zones in bars in clubs and that she got out of that after a very short time and she worked retail and then she got lucky with this job her boy oh yeah he's a boyfriend but he's not really a boyfriend it's a guy she's been seeing for eight nine months casually they're not really getting on and there's no commitment to each other. Sorry if any wind noise gets in. We've got a storm coming in. She's sort of playing it that he, they're not really boyfriend, girlfriend. Interesting. And she worked, had worked in the entertainment zone. Oh dear. 
This put sort of a little bit of alarm bells in Gary's ears, head, but not really. And time was getting on and he said, tell you what, let's carry on with this conversation. Let's go to my condo and have another drink. We'll have more drinks there. And are you in a rush to get home? And no, 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 I'm not in a rush. He said, get on a pee. <laughs> Everyone's got pee on speed dial. Yep, found him. There they go. P condo. P go home. He pulled out my S3000 back for the day. Uh, I'll get you another taxi later, Angela. Don't want him sitting out there for hours. Okay. Been a long day for him. Sends him out. What's going through his mind? I gotta go, 3BB, the internet provider have just turned up. <laughs> and they've turned up at his condo to put internet in. At 11 o'clock at night, no, no, no. He's just sent the taxi home. He's now got Angela as his new condo. They've had a few drinks already. Whatever could happen. See you next time, guys. Be good. Bye for now. <laughs>